this video we are going to take a look at direct delta function and here how it's look like this is infinitely thin and infinitely high this one doesn't represent the height it's actually the density density of this graph so we can also express this one as integration from negative infinity to infinity delta of t dt is equal to 1 here what we are going to do is we are going to do the time scaling of this to do the time scaling let a is greater than 0 and uh, we are going to see what is delta of a t what about delta of a t and here i'm going to climb that delta of a t is equal to 1 over a delta of t and we are going to prove this one okay to prove this one what we are going to do is we are going to instead of t we are going to substitute this delta of a t and see what we get so here delta of negative infinity to infinity instead of t i'm substituting the a t and then d t now to do the integration i want to make this a one variable so i'm going to equate this a t to a tau if i equate a t to a tau then d tau becomes a d t so if you re if i rewrite this one in terms of tau this is going to look like negative infinity to infinity delta of tau d tau divided by a because if d tau is a dt then dt is d tau divided by a now we are only integrating this one with respect to tau so 1 over a is a constant so i can move that one in front of the integration so this is going to be 1 over a integration negative infinity to infinity delta of tau d tau so from this one we can say that this is equal to 1 over a because if this is delta of t dt is equal to 1 then delta of tau d tau also 1 so only the constant remain outside and other things are 1 so we prove that one like if I go to a new page and draw the height before we had the height of 1 but now we are going to have the height of 1 over a for the delta of a t this time so from this one we can write some example for example if we have a delta of uh, delta of 0 0.1 t 0 0.1 t then this is going to be 10 times because 1 over 0 0.1 that's 10 so this is going to be 10 times delta of t and if you have delta of 5 t that's going to be 1 over 5 delta of t so like that you can do the same approach for like the uh, same approach for if we, if a is less than zero here we have seen a is when a is greater than zero you can do the same approach for a is less than zero if you take a is less than zero then you're going to get delta of a t is equal to one over absolute value of a delta of t if you try this one you're going to get this like with less than zero and that's it for this video i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel see you guys on my next